Hi guys and welcome to the new lessons today. So today we're gonna learn three new chords. I hope so far that you were practicing everything how you should. What can I tell you? Practice more and more and more. The more time you practice it's gonna be better and easier for you guys. So today we got three new chords. Online it's gonna be a G minor and it's gonna be if you heard H or B I'm gonna explain why is it H or B because sometimes we're gonna see it as a B or H. I'm gonna explain the difference and everything, but we're gonna learn. I'm gonna call it H now. So H and H minor. So that's what we're gonna learn now today. So or B B minor, of course. So I'm gonna I'm gonna explain you all the difference when we do the whole thing and everything. So the first chord that we're gonna do is gonna be G minor. So it's gonna be a bit of a neat thing we're gonna see uh, what we write down because you're gonna have some numbers on the writing I'm gonna explain you well practically if you go on my lesson number three you gotta explain it there why are the numbers there that means you're gonna start from two or three fret today with these so we're gonna do G minor first so for G minor, we're just gonna need finger number one. So this is gonna be a tricky one today a bit. So we're gonna go from the, not one, to the third fret. Now the third fret, what I told you, you got bar chords and you put them like this, the first finger you do. Okay. It has to be whole like this. So I'm gonna do some chords that I do. I just do it easier for the bar chords later so you get a bit easier the grip and everything so now we're gonna put only the first finger but we're gonna need to put it not all the way <laughs> we're just gonna have to put on the last three strings the first finger so this you need to push a bit hard to get everything right so what are you gonna do Try to put the finger in the middle and squeeze really, really hard. Because you'll see you're gonna try to put the sound and it's gonna be like this probably in the beginning. So then you gotta write like this. So the bass is gonna be this today, where you put the last from three. So one, two, three. This is gonna be the bass for me. This G minor. So we're gonna try first string there, second and third. So this is just you need to squeeze hard. So this is let's say for reggae style, how you're gonna see the G minor always. my lessons as you'll see you'll see a bit about more styles I'm gonna explain you why is the chord like that and everything so you know you're gonna learn a bit more because there's a lot of variations of G minor G and everything so you got the G that we were learning right like this but G is also the first four fingers like this so the first four strings pardon like this Again, that's reggae when you put one down, that's a G minor. But G is also this, this, this. So every chord you got more and more variations. That's why you got a couple thousand of them. But what I told you, you don't need all of them because it depends on the style that you're playing. So today we're not gonna go too much with, let's say, we're transferring the chords like that that's so just the progress too much i'm just gonna explain to you today a bit more about the variations of them and everything we are gonna go and show you how to do them with fingers and everything or all the chords today but just to explain you a bit more about these ones so the g minor we have now only last three fingers and you check it 
on the last three strings, pardon, three fingers. <laughs> check is everything good if you see probably the first and the last you're gonna hear better and the middle one's gonna a bit be crazier but as you can see I just squeeze and the main thing as you can see my finger is straight 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 to the bone here see you even go straight straight like this it's gonna be a bit hard that's why I go like this so okay that's G minor the next one is going to be H or B. So I'm going to explain the difference. Basically, it's the same thing. So if you're sometimes on the chords, you're going to see H or B. What's the thing? Uh, H is like, let's say, European style. B is more American style, how they call it. And there can be a difference when you're playing sometimes B. So what's the thing? Uh, if you play, so we're going to do the first stage we're gonna do from the second chord, second uh, fret. So let's say when you play H, so I'm gonna show you as a bar chord now, cause it's gonna be similar to a bar chord what I'm gonna do today, just that you're not gonna put the finger like this, you're gonna put it like this. So this is, let's say, H minor. So it can be B minor, so it starts from the second fret. But sometimes when you see the B, Sometimes it's not gonna sound right on the second fret, so that means you need to put one behind. So one fret behind the chord. So this is not gonna be from the second, it's gonna be from the first. You will see the difference when you play the song. So if you see, if it's not going like H, just put one fret, one fret behind. So not from the second, start from the first, that's gonna be the B that they need for the song. So it's gonna be the same sometimes when you see the B. Always try first as a normal H. But if it doesn't go, then you know it's from behind. So it's gonna be like that. So it's always gonna be first or second fret. That's the thing. So just remember that. The difference between H and B are in general same chord. Just Europeans are H uh, and Americans just say like, you know, B. That's the thing, but if you have a difference when you hear the sound, you will hear it with the ear and everything. So if you see that there's a difference that's not going completely good, just drop it one fret behind. So don't start from the second fret, start from this, the first fret. That's the only thing that you need to remember. So let's remember that. But I'm going to write it to you today as from the second fret. So that's the thing. But remember that sometimes it's going to be from the first fret. So it doesn't matter if it's going to say B, sometimes D. If it says H, sometimes it's going to be from the fret behind. You will see it when you try and you see some uh, taps online and everything. It's going to be normal. So just remember that. That's the only, let's say, danger and difference that can happen. So we're going to start uh, H first. So H or B, however you want. So we're gonna need all four fingers. And I'm gonna explain you why we're gonna do it the way that we're gonna do it today. Uh, so I told you some tabs, I just do the way so you get easy adapted to the bar chords later. So I'm gonna explain you now. So we're gonna go finger number one on the second fret on the first ring from down, as you can see. So that's finger number one. And now two, three, and four. Remember how A was going like this, right? So we're gonna do the same thing on one fret, but just with fingers two, three, and four. So it's gonna be a bit harder, you will see. So the first one goes, as I told you here, on the second fret, first string from down. Number two, so we're gonna skip fret number three, we're gonna go to fret number four. Number two is gonna go on one, two, the third string, on the fourth fret from up down just one string down it's gonna go number three on the same fret so fret number four and down again on the second from down if you want it's gonna go number four so this is gonna be a bit bit hard to get now in the beginning 
but why did why am I doing this chord like this because later you're going to work the barrett chords and these three are going to get used to the position the only difference is going to be you put finger number one as the whole finger <laughs> tell you from previous course check everything for every chord especially this one the things can be again you didn't press too hard right or the positions especially from these three are not good they're too close to the fret so that's why so it can be that, that, and again, maybe you don't hear the last ring because you don't have the gap between that you need. So that can be the danger from this chord. Again, so this is because later, probably on most of the songs, you're going to play it as a bar chord, but just to get used to, but especially these three for the positions. That's the thing, guys. The bass is going to be where you put finger number two on this one. So that's gonna be the base for the this type of chord. So play it from there down. This can be also played like an open chord. So an open chord is basically, let's say if you even put like you have F, that's like an open chord. So those are like open chords, let's say what they call it. Uh, so even you could play all six strings on them for the sound and everything a bit so you're gonna have a bit of mysterious sound let's see the F position everywhere. When we do the barrack chords of it, I'll explain you why and everything, why am I doing that, so just not to get you too much information now. But as you can see, I can put one position everywhere, so that goes with every position, basically. Like you got an E. You got open chords. open chords so that's an open chord again so okay back to H check the fingers it's everything you look great so what if we do a combination let's say H and G minor now again you can do easy uh, these combinations let's say they are important but you know just this let's say this lesson is more just for you to uh, you guys to get used to some positions that's the main Thing of this lesson that's why i told you we're not going to focus too much in the rhythm from these chords because when you do let's say h again you go up so down up down up g minor you just did a bit you know just a bit to get practice let's say you know so now we're just going to do H minor now. Uh, so H minor is going to be same thing with the first, first you go here. So you, know, you remember how you put F here. I told you again because of the position. So same thing is going to be with H minor. Just one string down and you start from the second fret. So always I'm going to have you explanations like this, you know, just to get it easier. So remember how F goes, that's how you're going to put H minor. So then of course I'm going to show you. Number one, put on the first string from down on the second fret. Number two is going to be on the second string from down on the third fret. And number three and four are going to go on the third on the fourth fret together. So number three is going to go on the third string on the fourth fret, 
and number fourth, which is going to go down. As you can see on the fourth string. So from up, I'm saying now, as you can see. So check the chord. The bass line is going to be finger number three here. So again, this is because later when you play on the parry chords, it's going to be just put the finger up. thing with the bass line so we're gonna just do a bit of finger picking with this in G minor so again the same you do with H so as you see this lesson is a bit longer because as you see we got explanations of that that's the thing so we're just gonna do uh, H minor and G minor with the fingers so same thing is gonna be with H same same as the position of the bass so we go from this chord so the bass line we go down, so we're gonna go three, four, five, and the last three is the second finger. So and then G. So if I want to play G with an open chord, just go with let's say the third string from above. As an open chord, what I told you. But G, if you G minor, when you play, just play like that. Let's say the fingers mostly. So wait, you're gonna play like this. Bass down three. So just play with the motorics. That's what I'm telling you. Just play with it, just to get the hang of it. You know, just to get used to these positions, because these positions, especially, are a bit stranger. Okay guys, so that's today's lesson. So remember these chords were today uh, basically more to get the bar chords later easier and everything. So remember a couple of things. So of course, practice them with the rest of them, like always. Uh, so just remember H and B, basically same thing. If you see in the song H or B, just try it like H now first. If it doesn't go well, just don't go on the second fret, you go on the first fret. So that's, you just push it on the first fret. Same thing, but on the first fret. Okay. So I'm going to show you the chorus now. As you can see, you got everything there. You got the bass there and everything. So as you can see, the difference between these chords and the last chords is, you got some numbers there, two and three. So again, if you don't know what is it, go on lesson number three. You'll have everything there. As you can see with the H you got there, it says B2 next to it. So that you know is the same thing. So from the second, from three, what it says three and two there are marks. So that means you start from the second or third fret, guys. Remember that. There you go. Okay, guys, so that's that. See you on the next lesson. What can I tell you? I hope you learned something new today and you enjoyed it. What can I tell you? See you.